are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. If you guys want to learn how to do this on your RG35XX, your Plus, and your H, I'm going to show you guys that right now. If this does work for you guys, be sure to drop a like on the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Retext Magic here. Have a wonderful day. Got a video for you guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload a randomizer to your RG35XX or basically any other hacked ROM that you can find for various emulators and such that would work for your 35 xx h or your plus or the regular 2024 version that i have so for argument sakes we're just going to do a gba one because that's the easiest one for me so now you're going to want to find the rom for the game that you're looking for now i'm over here at visualboyadvance.org i'm going to leave this link down below in the description but basically they have a whole bunch of roms here and you could literally download any of them let's go ahead and download Ruby Destiny Life of Guardians, because why not? All right, click it, open it up, hit download on the bottom right. It's going to pop up on my top right corner, and it is downloaded. Let me show you guys that very quickly. I'm just going to drag it over. There's your GBA file, okay? So that's how you would download any of the ROMs. Just click it, download, that's it. But for the purpose of this video, we just want to do a randomizer. So I have Pokemon Emerald GBA file right here which you can get on the same exact site as well. I just didn't want to re-download it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to look up UP Randomizer or Universal Pokemon Randomizer. A Reddit page will pop up. Go ahead, open that up and hit the top link right there. And then go ahead and hit the GitHub link right here. And then go ahead and download the exe zip file. All right, once that's downloaded and opened up, go ahead and run the randomizer.exe. It should open up here. On my left all right now it says no ROM loaded okay I don't know if I can make that oh yes I can go ahead and now open ROM all right I have my ROM right here I had to go through a couple folders so I kind of cut a little bit but you'll get the same exact thing as me open it up and now you could go through all of these tabs and randomize it how you like so Pokemon traits, base stats, uh, unchanged, types unchanged, abilities I don't care about, evolutions unchanged, starters, I'm going to do random, right, because I want it completely random, like the first three Pokemon we get, no clue what they are. Uh, In-game trades, randomize if you want to, randomize starter held items, uh, nicknames, OT, IVs, items, I'm not too, too worried about, moves and move sets. Um, I don't change the moves really. Trainer Pokemon, I always go random. And Rival carries their starter. And you could change like no legendaries or buffing the Leaf 4. I just leave all that. Randomized trainer names I do. Overworld, wild Pokemon, random of course. Field items, I do randomize. And let's see. We always want the legendaries in the wild so I never check the no legendaries. Static Pokemon. I do random, so when you have like Groudon or Kyogre and Emerald, that it'll show Groudon, but it could be Rayquaza or something like that. That will change. TMs, I just do random. HMs, um, I leave. The Move Tutor, I do random as well, and random completely for the capability. And other tweaks, you want to do fast text and running shoes indoors, you can. And of course, you guys can change anything you like. So, go ahead and hit randomize and save. Save it to wherever you want. I'm putting in a new folder where I actually had the other GBA file ready. So, that's going to a oh, file name uh, ytvid. And it's going to be a .gba. I'm going to hit no and done. So, now guys, let's go back to our RG35XX. Alright, guys, back to the RG35. Go ahead and make sure it's powered off. Take out your micro SD card. Make sure you have a micro SD card reader. I have the SD card reader with the adapter right there. We're gonna go ahead and put that in. I did switch out the SD card. This is not the original. This is gonna go into your PC. So I'll see you guys back on the computer. 
All right, guys, we have our SD card in, our micro SD card. So we have two folders now, the E drive and the M drive. These are what I named it myself. So in one of the drives, you're gonna see ROMs, okay? You're gonna open that up, look for whichever emulator you guys made the ROM for or downloaded. Mine was GBA. Here are all, our, all of our ROMs here. I have the folder right here with the YT vid right here, right, the one we just made. I'm gonna go ahead, drag that over. Boom, appears on the bottom, that's it. So now go ahead and safely eject your device. We'll close all these out first. Safely eject by hitting the little icon on the bottom right. You guys can't see it, but just eject it how you would with any other USB device. Eject my storage device, done. You should hear it when I unplug it. Good. Now our micro SD card can come out. All right, guys, we got our micro SD card. Let's go ahead and pop that bad boy back in. I'm trying to do this through my phone so I can't see it. Good. Clicks in. Hold down the power. And I am running the garlic OS, by the way. I'm not using the stock OS, but it's exactly the same. So we are actually um, in the middle of a game here. Let me go ahead and um, back out of this. Consoles, okay. GBA is right here. Right Pokemon Emerald Ruby Sapphire. It went to the bottom. YTVid. Go ahead, open that up. Game Boy, of course. And everything is randomized, guys. Just like we did with the software on the computer. So it's just a lot of uh, kind of going back and forth, of course. But new game, you'll see right away when the professor brings out a Pokemon that's not, uh, I don't remember what it's supposed to be. But this could be something, it's gonna be something completely random here. Look at that. Probably Rat? Yeah, I think it's usually, uh, I don't know what it usually is, I don't remember. But yeah guys, it's random, it's done, that's it. You guys can go on my TikTok, watch me live stream my randomizer every night around 8 p.m. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like. Sorry to you if you're new. And my guys, have a wonderful day. Peace out.